Hey guys, sorry it's it's getting dark out here, but um, I was asked a question through um, an email. You know, it was not a bad question. They were just wondering why my videos, you know, the, what I talk about in my my prepping items are basic. It's not like these other high-end channels. Um, I don't think they're basic. I think they're just common sense items that don't cost me a small fortune to own. And they're practical to use. They're easy to use. They're easy to replace. Um, why I don't use high-end items, or as I call them, gadgets. I really don't have a use for them, and number two, I can't afford them. Um, I mean, in a SHTF situation, food, water, a heat cooking source, shelter, protection medical that's what you're going to need to survive you don't have to worry about having a mini solar panel you know strapped to your back so you can charge up your your iPhone or your your rechargeable two-way walkie-talkies you know I got a set of two-way walkie-talkies but they take double-a batteries um, you know, I just buy Duracell and hell, they last for a while. I just, I don't get into the fine, fancy gear gadget, you want to call them. You know, I keep it basic because it's easy. You know, in a SHTF situation, you don't want something you got to scratch your head to figure out how to work. Because a lot of people, they go out and buy all this stuff, and they never use it. They they pack it away. And um, I'm not like that. You know, I, I push trapping. I push snaring. I push, fish, push fishing. I push, you know, hunting with a bow. Because you want for it to be quiet. And I, I, I push... You know, to build a shelter, you need four walls and a roof with a fire inside. Especially, you know, even in the summertime, because the bugs and the mosquitoes and flies will eat you alive. If you, I have seen these videos where they make, they're called super structure shelters. You know, it's a lean-to with a wall all the way around. If it rains, you're going to get flooded inside. You know, I, I push basic common sense. You know, I, I'm not, I just don't, I just don't get into the high-end gadgets and gear, you know, because it, it's going to come down to basic common sense, knowledge, and working with these right here. To, in order to survive, you know, gardening, learning your edible vegetable, you know, plants out in the woods, learn how to preserve a an animal that you catch, you know, by smoking it. You know, learn hot house cooking, smoking, and cold house smoking. Um, learn how to preserve salt your meat. Um, I'm going to do, hopefully I can do a video this summer on um, making a little rut cellar so you can hang meat underground to help keep it from spoiling, going bad in the heat. There's just so much a person needs to know that's common sense and common knowledge instead of going out 
buying expensive gadgets, you know, I, I just, this is me, you know, if, if you guys like your gadgets and you can afford your gadgets, buy your gadgets. If you, just make sure you know how to use your gadgets. Just don't buy them and put them in a box or put them in your bug out bag and never take them out of pack and never use them. You know, it, it's just um, a personal preference. You know, that's because survival is getting back to the basics. For me, that's the way I think survival is. Learn to live off the land. Everything's there for you to to survive on. You just got to have the knowledge and the tools to build it, to fix it, to gather it, to hunt it, to fish it, to cook it, to preserve it. That's what you got to have, the knowledge. I mean, um, but I was asked this question and this is my response. I just, I don't, I don't get into the, the fine fancy gadgets and I don't, because I, I can't afford it. I got three boys, and all three, you know, I got I, my five year old starting kindergarten. I got a, four, a fourth grader. Then I got a ninth grader. You know, I got boys to to um, provide for on top of bills and stuff. So I really can't afford that stuff. And even if I did, I probably, even, even if I could buy it, sorry, a bug flew in my eye. Those little gnats. Even if I could afford to buy it I probably wouldn't because that's not me you know I'd much rather take a, a a survival pack with snares and candles and fishing hooks and you know stuff like that and you know matches lighter ferro rod and go out and do stuff instead of packing all this other solar panels and rechargeable this and rechargeable that and automatic cooking stoves and and pre-made gasoline for the the cooking stove and you know stuff like that. i just don't get into that stuff i mean it's it's i like down to earth stuff um I like stuff that makes me use my brain to figure out how to how I can do it, then how I can make it easier on myself. Um, and like bushcrafting, there's no way I'm going to take a bunch of vines or a bunch of grass and weave together a rope. I don't get into that. You know, I'm not going to whittle out a spoon. When I can go buy a spoon. Yeah, I just don't get into that. I mean, um, yeah, I, I just don't get into bushcrafting. There's some good aspect to bush, bushcrafting, but I just don't get into it. I mean, it, that's not me. You know, if I'm out there surviving, I want the tools that I don't have to build it. I can just take it out of my pack and it's ready to go. And it's not gadgets, it's just, um, you know, like a spoon or a bowl. You know, I'm not gonna sit there and and cut a piece of a uh, uh, tree limb, then carve it out and burn it out, then carve it out and burn it out just to make a bowl. I'm gonna have a bowl in my, in my pack because I can buy bowls at the Dollar Tree a stainless steel bow for a dollar. I mean, I, that's just me. I mean, I'm not bashing bushcrafters or nothing like that. You know, that's what they like. That's what they like. If people like gadgets, that's what they like. You know, I'm just not that type of person. Um, you know, I, I keep it simple. I keep it basic. You know, I cover what I think is important. And that's what I talk about a lot on here. You know, you've got to have food, you've got to have water, you've got to have shelter. You've got to have protection, you've got to have medical, you know. Um, 
you know, when I mentioned sutures, there's so many people said, man, I didn't even think about getting sutures to sew myself up. And, but it's just the basic things like that. I mean, some people call me, you know, Dollar Tree preparer. You know, I don't get all my stuff from Dollar Tree. But when I come across a good deal, instead of buying it at Walmart's or Amazon for four or five dollars, if I could buy the same product at the Dollar Tree or a yard sale for a dollar, I'm going to do it to save money. So I can, you know, have that extra money to buy more preps or buy more stuff for the boys or buy more stuff for, you know, pay more bills. So, I mean, I, I hope that answered this lady's question. I mean, she wasn't being, you know, mean or anything. She just asked a simple question because she said she's seen so many other videos out there that is all expensive gadgets and expensive this and expensive that. Then she's come across my channel and I'm kind of the generic version of them, I guess you you can say. But she says she says she likes my channel because it's it's refreshing. It gets you thinking. So I thank you. Boy, stop throwing nails. No, they're not throwing darts. They're nails. Go put my nails back. Sorry about that. My five year old's out here. Um, but I hope that answered the question. Um, you know, if you guys got any comments, please leave them below. I do want to say, I think I figured out how to put my PayPal link on my homepage under about, and I'm going to try to put it in the description below. So if anybody wants to, um, help support the channel, any amounts welcome and I thank you you know if you don't that's cool too you know um, I, I just I hope I done it right you know I'm gonna pat myself on the back if it does work because I, I sat there and I scratched my head and I figured it out I think I did anyway but um, anyway I hope everybody has a great day um, I've got more videos I want to produce and put out here but I'm just this is the only time I got to do it and cause I'm working, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got a big job. I'm still trying to finish up. I'm, I am behind on my firewood. Uh, I just, I need to mow my lawn. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm tired. Everybody be safe, be careful. And I hope everybody has a great week. Bye for now.